Hi everyone, welcome to the uh, first episode of the tools I use. The first one would be the Blake Megra brush, golden taclon. Um, this one are size 30 and 50. Really easy to acquire through Blick if you're in the US. Really sturdy. Um, I love them. I've been using it not for so long, uh, but they are actually really thick. They've been holding up very, very well. Although they don't really hold up very well underwater, there's a little bit of filtration as you can see there. Next is the Nevskaya Palitra. I'm pretty sure that is not how you would um, pronounce that. <laughs> It doesn't really hold well, it's not one of my favorite brushes, it's really soft, maybe too much, um, maybe it's not even for acrylic paint to be honest. Next one is the Princeton, um, I think this is a basic, these are short angle stroke and angle shaders in sizes 10 and I believe um, 2. These are pretty good. I would definitely de recommend this as a basic. Um, they've been holding really, really well, especially the bigger sizes, because as you can see in the smaller sizes, the water does filter in with a very short about amount of time inside the water. So that is something I wouldn't really um, want anymore. Next is Polytech uh, from the brand Rodin, which is Mexican. These are also synthetic, different sizes. I would say these are the cheapest, most economic ones in the whole list and they hold up really well. The thing is that zero, for example, is not that small. It's flat and it can make a really nice thin stroke, but definitely, um, I, I would say that these ones for the price are definitely a must because they're very basic they hold up really well almost no water filtration on the wood and very very inexpensive i will leave the link to all of these brushes below The next one are Drowel, they are Japanese synthetic also. I have these two different sizes, I've been using them for over three years now and they hold up incredibly well. Um, these are very old brushes, I've been using them a very long time now. And you can see the small hair starting to like wear off, but definitely one of the highest quality I've gotten so far. Next is Munkachi, um, this is Hungarian, this was a present for my partner. I'm pretty sure this is a bit more expensive than the rest, um, but they are really high quality. Again, I've been using this for quite a while now, over two years, constantly and almost nowhere of, except it's a bit tricky to clean, uh, but overall recommended. Next is Raphael Carrel, uh, French. These are awesome for super fine lines, even though you can see with a very small amount of usage um, that the hairs are starting to come out, very very good for small lines. Munkachi, um, also Hungarian, like I said. I really love this, um, I feel it a bit too soft for the kind of hard edge uh, abstracts that I usually work on, but it has hold up really really well. Next is one of my favorites, Liquitex Freestyle Palette Brushes. These are 1 and 2 inches. Um, they hold up really well underwater, no filtrations. Um, I mean, I've been using it for almost two and a half years now, which is crazy. Perhaps the only thing I would say this, as you can see in the brush area, is that they are really tricky to clean. Like you have to really get in there with some soap or dilutant of some sort because they are very very difficult to clean because it's so um, compressed in the brush area that you know that's the down part that the positive part is that the stroke has a really consistent thickness to it so this is definitely the line to make a straight line um, yeah this is for you this is i love this So for this flick brush, as you can see, pretty simple, flat, 
but the thing I love about them is that they make pretty much perfect 90 degree angle, um, perfect edges, perfect for hard edge painting like I do. The Rodin, like I said, also pretty basic. Um, I would definitely recommend this to be honest. This one, I will compare it uh, to the Raphael. This is the Princeton. Although it's really good on edges because it has this nice stroke, look at this um, Raphael one. The thinness on it is ridiculous. I definitely, definitely recommend this brush to everyone for details. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. I hope it was useful. Let me know in the comments if it was or if you have any experience with the listed brushes. I'll see you guys soon.